Realtek High Definition Audio Driver. Install Realtek HD Audio Driver Failure. Error code negative 0001. Okay, so if you're getting this specific error with Realtek with the audio, now I was installing these specific headphones and this error popped up, but it could, you know, it could pop up with another device or just in general on your PC. So let's go ahead and fix this error. And of course, this is with the majority of Windows based computers. What you want to do is first go to Device Manager, which is going to be on the very bottom left of your computer screen for Windows 10 and 11. You just type in that search bottom search area right next to the Microsoft logo, which will be way down here. Type in Device Manager or just Device. This will pop up Device Manager. Go ahead and click on it. Now, this is going to take you to all the different drivers that's on your computer. So I want you to simply look at audio inputs and outputs and try to recognize the device that you're having problems with. Usually it might have like a little yellow uh, dot or a little yellow figure next to it, meaning that it's not installed, which is a good sign. But regardless, what you're going to do is hover over it. You'll, you want to click on audio inputs and device. It's going to bring down a, a menu here. And so for example, Realtek Definition Audio, I want to right click going to right click on it and then I want to left click update driver but do make sure that you are connected to the internet either either by LAN or Wi-Fi and that should take a few minutes and then that should install reinstall the computer and then see if that fixes your problem usually it will if not what you may need to do is to do a system update on your computer and so in order to do that you just go to the same place on the very bottom left type in update that's going to click it's going to show you check for updates go ahead and click on it and then follow the steps and then do the full update of your computer and that could take anywhere from a minute to five minutes or 30 minutes restart the computer and see if that fixes the problem if it doesn't just go directly to the manufacturer of your computer so for example I have a Dell right here what you want to do is go on Google while you're online and type the the exact name so in Google I would type Dell I would put I would type in Dell driver or I would type in HP driver or Toshiba driver Acer driver you get the picture and when you do that it's going to be usually on the very very top it's going to show the manufacturer and then it's going to have a place where you can click on the drivers so just make sure you go to like Dell www.dell as long as the actual company name is the very first one because there's a lot of paid websites that'll try to trick you to download their software that'll identify the driver you really don't want to do that and they'll want to ask you to pay for it so you want to do it directly from the website and so for example I'm on Dell and the uh, identification number the the service tag is usually going to be on the very bottom now all the other websites are kind of like the same thing HP they'll ask you for a serial number you look on the bottom but if not not a big deal if it's worn off the computer you could just type in the model number on any computer depending on which one it is and say so for example Dell XPS 15 you would type that and then it'll walk you through the different things and then you could just install you could just install the driver directly from there um, I think that should solve your problem let me know put in the comment section uh, which method worked for you and what your exact computer is I right, appreciate you watching thanks again